Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my channel. To my returning subscribers and guests, thank you so much for stopping in to visit for a little bit tonight. I truly appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you stick around and visit for a little bit. Uh, any comments are, of course, always welcome. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and please uh, hit the uh, red subscribe button before you go. I'd love to see you back here again. And today I've just got a little mini Trader Joe haul. It has been it's been a while since I've been there, and so I could not wait to go back. I've been uh, craving the pecan kringle. I'm trying to diet, but uh, sometimes you've got to let it go and just enjoy life for a little bit. So I actually bought two pecan kringles. They are awesome. If you've uh, never been to Trader Joe's and you have one in your area, I hope that you get a chance to stop in. It's a really delicious pastry. I know you can buy it online, and it's like $25, $29 online to buy it. And at Trader Joe's, they are $7.99. Um, so far, I've had the almond Pringle that uh, was really good. I had the pumpkin one last fall. It was okay, but um, not as good as the almond. And I am loving the pecan. And I know online they've got all kinds of flavors. So I don't know if they'll all be coming to Trader Joe's eventually one at a time. But for now, I am enjoying the almond Pringle when they have it and the pecan when they have it. So awesome, awesome stuff. So um, anyway, just a few items. Gonna get right into it. And uh, first, I've got the sweet potato gnocchi, and I've never had this before. I've had other kinds of gnocchi, so I just uh, thought I'd give it a try. See what it's like. It looks really good. I'm also going to buy the meatless meatballs today, but I broke down and I bought the uh, meatballs Italian style. I've never bought this uh, from them before, so. Hoping that, um, you know, maybe just a few of them for a little snack will be good. And uh, I'm excited to try that. I've got some chicken chumay uh, dumplings. And I've had some of the pork ones before, and I think I've even had the chicken ones. And I uh, just love these. Steam them up. It comes with a little sauce, a tangy little soy sauce. Awesome. Really good for a treat or if you're going to have a Chinese food night with Trader Joe things. Awesome. Never bought this before either. These are the pastry bites with feta cheese and caramelized onions. These onions, these little pastries, look like they'll just be a good little snack this weekend. And I wanted to go after work today because we are expecting more snow tomorrow, like a snow and rain mix. So this is battening down the hatches, having a fun weekend in here eating, and to try to keep it healthy, I get some uh, chopped. Southwestern chopped salad comes with the green cabbage, romaine, the cotija cheese, roasted papitas, tortilla strips, green onion, cilantro, and it has a spicy Southwest avocado dressing, but I've got some low-cal, no-fat dressing in my refrigerator, so I'll probably have that. But um, anyway, these salads that are already made, they're just, they're just perfect size, you know, they few days they last and that's good so you don't have to go out and buy all the different vegetables and have them go bad before you finish them. Um, and this, I've never tried this one before so I'm excited to try this this weekend. And it's the Trader Joe's Mango and Sticky Rice Spring Rolls. So, sounds like it should be interesting, maybe kind of sweet and spicy, so should be good. I also got some uh, Pico de Gallo, which is funny because I, I don't like tomatoes. But I like this Pico de Gallo. This one's really mild. Um, I'm kind of nervous to try the hot one, and I keep saying I'm going to buy both of them and make my own mix, but I never do. So anyway, I've got the uh, mild Pico de Gallo from Trader Joe's. It's really good. And to go with it, I got some organic corn chip dippers, also Trader Joe's brand. It's like a Frito, but it's, 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 it's salty. It's got the flavor of a Frito, but it doesn't have that aftertaste that you get from Frito sometimes. So I like those. And so I was probably just like to munch on some cheese. And I saw this this week that I hadn't noticed before. And it's a French fromage slices, a semi-soft cheese. So this is eight slices in here. So excited to give those a try. If you've tried it, let me know how you like it. So new to me is some ravioli, and this is uh, Trader Joe's sweet Italian sausage and four cheese ravioli. So that looked like it should be good. I got some marinara sauce to go with it. Who knows? Maybe we can throw in some of those meatballs. 
And this is the uh, traditional marinara sauce from Trader Joe's that I got to, uh, to go with the uh, ravioli. And I got some chickenless mandarin orange, orange morsels. So they feel kind of tiny, but it looks like maybe this would be good over some, some rice or something. Just uh, maybe cut some calories, have a little meatless meal. So I thought I would uh, give these a try. And a different spice. I hadn't seen this before. And this is a Trader Joe's Mushroom and Com Company. It's multi-purpose Umani seasoning blend. And they say this is uh, mushrooms, some kosher salt, some red and black pepper. Um, I think there was mustard seed in there and um, maybe some other things, onion powder, mustard seed. So anyway, I thought that might give an interesting uh, sprinkle on something. Don't know what I want to put it on yet, but thought I would give that a try to go with the Parmesan, uh, to go with the uh, ravioli and the marinara sauce. Got some Trader Joe's Parmesan and Romano cheese, grated cheese. I haven't bought these in a while because it's been a while since I've been there, but love these Scandinavian swimmers. These are kind of like a Swedish fish in a gummy mix, so I like those. What a face mask. Thought I would give that a try this weekend. It's a rich, hydrating face sheet mask. I think it was like $1.99 for this, so. It's got, um, it says it soothes and revitalizes dull and tired skin. That's me. With uh, hyaluronic acid, honey, chamille extract, turmeric extract, green tree extract, green tea, not tree, pomegranate, rosehip oil, blue algae extract, camellia oil, and propolis extract. So anyway sounds really moisturizing and I think uh, from being out shoveling quite a few times this uh, week I think I need some uh, pamper my skin a little bit and these apple slices love these just for a quick little snack I I have more stuff at work in my uh, desk than I have actually work sometimes I like to take these to work and just uh, when I feel like I need a little pick-me-up I like these little apple slices and these are the New Zealand sweet apple rings few bars to have in my office as well. I've got the Trader Joe's vanilla almond chewy coated and drizzled granola bars. And those are good for a light little snack or light lunch. And the sweet and salty granola bars. This has got almond butter and Greek yogurt coating. So just a few little things there. And something new that I hadn't seen before. These are Trader Joe's chocolate covered sea salt butterscotch caramels. So the sweet and creamy, deeply flavored butterscotch caramels tinged with sea salt and dark chocolate. So let's give these a try, see what they are like. Hopefully they're kind of soft so I don't make too much crunching noise. It is a dark, dark chocolate, but you get into that caramel and that tastes good. And something new. I got Trader Joe's pancake bread. It says it's a twist on buttermilk, a short stack, baked into a sweet, moist, loaf. Hmm. So let's check this out. See what it's like. But my snacks are probably all in the dishwasher. So let's check this out. See what it's like. It smells kind of maple -y. That's what it's like without the cover on. I'm just going to try to cut a little piece and see what it's like. Probably easier to cut a big slice than a little slice. Hmm. It's kind of like a 
coffee cake. It's a cinnamon, cinnamon -y. That's maybe some brown sugar streusel on it, but it's pretty good. I like that. And just a few little bars. I always see these and I never get them, so I thought I'd give give these a try. And they're one bars. And I got one happy birthday. This one's a tough cookies only, a chocolate chip cookie dough. And this last one is glazed and amused, a maple glazed donut. So if you've tried these before, let me know how they are. I'm just trying to see what protein. So there's 20 grams of protein in here. So for 20 grams of protein, that's a pretty good little snack. And the last thing that I bought is Trader Joe's Rose Oil Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. Because, like I said, I have been out shoveling. And even though you're out with your stuff on, comes in this tube. I don't know if that's going to focus. It's very light rose oil, so let me, oh, you don't have to, it's probably frozen from being in the car. Oh, that smells pretty. It's, it smells just like a nice little rose bouquet. I'm just going to try some on, see what it feels like on. Take off some rings. I said it was in the car for a while, so it's probably frozen, but it's very feels very soft, very moisturizing right away. You can just kind of feel that. I need a little bit more. I think it's going to thaw out a little, but it's uh, very soothing. It's very, it's thick. It doesn't feel, well, it is tacky right now because I just put it on, but um, it smells really nice. So anyway, that is my Trader Joe haul. Let me know what you think. If there's any seasonal things that um, are your favorites that I should be looking for. Uh, if you have any questions on what anything tasted like or came out um, that I bought, let me know. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And we will chat again soon. Thanks for stopping in, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.